Guy guys, in this video, I will guide you that how to solve the short term decision making sum of 2018 past paper of HNDA fourth year second semester. Question number two. A company manufactures and sells three different types of product, namely A, B, and C using the same machineries the following information is available for the next month they gave the selling price per unit and direct material per unit direct labor per unit variable overheads per unit missing hours required per unit and monthly demand also given and questions is the available labor hours and missing hours for the next month have been estimated 11,000 hours and 7,000 hours respectively. You are required to compute the optimal product mix based on the resource availability. Before calculate the optimal product mix, you need to know that which input will limit your production. That means Will labor hours or missing hours limit your productions? So you want to calculate required labor hours and missing hours for your production. First, you need to calculate the required labor hours per unit. That means they gave the informations labor hours cost four hundred. For product A, 480 for product B, 320 for product C. And hourly rate, 400. So, for production A, you need to spend 1 hours because cost is cost is 400 and hourly rate 400 so you use the one hours labor so you need to calculate total required labor hours for a 400 400 cost and hourly rate 400 so you spend one hours and second one Second one, B production. As per the question paper, 480 the cost per unit and one hour rate 400. So, four eighty divided by 400. So, uh, required labors per unit, 1.2 hours. For C production, Cost is 320, 320 divided by 400, so 0.8 hours. And total production or selling budgeted production, total production, as per the question paper, production A, 4000, production B, 3800 production C 4500 so 4000 3800 4500 so you multiply your production into required labor hour per unit it's automatically find out the total labor hours total production 4000 into required labor hours per unit 1 so total required labor hours 4000 for A and B uh, total production 3800 required labor hours per unit 1.2 hours so 
total required labor was 4560 and for production C 4500 and required labor hour per unit 0 0.8 hours and total required labor hour 3600. Right, so total hours, total labor hours for total production, for three production, 12,160. And your limit of labor hours, limit of labor hours as per the question paper is 11,000. So, shortage labor bus is thousand hundred and sixty. And you need to calculate for machine hours also. Required machine hours required machine hours you can find out why. Required mission hours. As per the question paper, required mission hours also given. For production A 0 0.4 hours, production B 0 0.6 and production C 0 0.3. So for production A 0 0.4, production B 0 0.6 and production C 0 0.3 and budgeted and monthly demand 4000 3800 4500 so total production 4000 3800 and 4500 and total machine hours you can calculate the total production multiply by required machine hours per unit So for production A 1600, for production B 2280 and for production C 1350. So total labor hours for 3 production 5230 and total available Machine hours 7000 as per the question paper. So, limit of the machine hours limit of machine hours 7000. So, excess machine hours. thousand seven hundred and seventy so machine hours will not limit your production because you need five thousand two hundred and thirty machine hours but you are able to use seven thousand machine hours so your limiting factor is labor hours uh, next step you need to calculate the contributions per unit and contribution for labor hours because the labor hours will limit your productions labor hours will limit your production so so you need to allocate based on the most profit gather from labor hours so Next step contribution calculations for products A, products B, products C, and first selling price.
as per the questions paper selling price 8500 12500 6300 8500 12500 and 6300 and direct material per unit direct material per unit 3800 6900 3200 3800 6900 3200 and next expense variable expense direct labor hours per unit direct labor hours labor hours per unit for production a 400 production b 480 production c 320 400 480 320 and variable overheads variable overheads per unit Four hundred, four hundred, four hundred. So contribution per unit, you should deduct all the variable overheads from sales. That called as a contribution. contribution per unit for A 3900 for B 4720 for C 2380 so that is a contribution per unit next you should change the contribution per unit for contribution for labor hours so you should enter the required labor hours required labor hours per unit we already calculated 1 hours per A 1.2 hours per B and 0 0.8 hours per C and now you can calculate the contribution for labor hours that contribution per unit divided by required labor hours per unit Contribution per unit, uh, contribution per labor hours will be calculated as contribution per unit divided by required labor hours per unit. So then you can drag your contributions per labor hours. First, B productions. Second one, A production and third one C productions so you will allocate your available labor hours first for B productions and rest labor hours will allocate for B productions and last labor hours will allocate for C productions so let's do the optimal products mix so first you need to allocate for product B so product V total demand as per the question paper 3800 3800 and required labor hour per unit is 1.2 hours 1.2 hours and total usage labor hours 4560 so your availability of um, labor hours 11,000 so you can allocate the rest labor hours to next profitable product that is A the total demand for production A 
as per the question paper 4000 so 4000 and required labor hour per unit one one hours and usage of labor hours 4000 hours and rest your available labor hours 11000 you already allocate to production b 4560 and uh, allocated to a product 4000 and you can allocate 2440 for production C so required labor hours per unit for production C is 0 0.8 hours so your production of C availability of labor hours divided by required labor hours that is 3050 so your total demand of production c 3600 but you can produce 3050 because of your limit of labor hours so this is the production mix this is the answer of your questions thank you so much for watching this videos if you have any doubt please comment below the videos thank you